This is Paul Thomas, Senior Editor of Pharmaceutical Manufacturing Magazine, and I'm here today with Rob Noel of Upfront. And Rob, uh, welcome, first of all. Um, Rob's going to tell us about his robust uh, chromatography system, and robust is R-H-O-B-U-S-T. That's right, yes, that's right. Tell us uh, what we're looking at, Rob. Well, this is, um, this is a system which is based around expanded bed chromatography, and expanded bed chromatography has the advantages uh, of being able to process uh, unclarified feedstocks. So where you're standing now could be uh, a disposable bioreactor or even a, a full bioreactor. And all you do at the end of the day is to, once you finish your fermentation, is just turn a tap at the bottom of the bioreactor and then the material can just be loaded directly onto this column. So you've already saved um, the opportunity or the necessity to have to do um, centrifugation or microfiltration, depth filtration and sterile filtration. So that's two or three operations which you don't have to do. This simplifies the process considerably. And so the, uh, the feed can just go straight onto the column, up through the expanded bed. All the cells and the cellular material just come up and out of the column. Uh, but the protein, if it's a monoclonal binding to a protein A adsorbent, for instance, is captured and then you wash all the remaining particulates away and elute a clarified solution. And that's, that's vital because you've just gone from um, your bioreactor to a purified and clarified solution all in one, one go. It's not new technology. It has been around, but there have been some advantages which uh, have, or some innovations which have really enabled this in the last few years. Now, you said that uh, GE Healthcare used to also have this technology. They no longer offer this, and you're essentially the only company that's offering this technology now. Yes. It seems simple and it seems obviously effective. Um, why are you the only ones in the market, and, and what, uh, what do you envision for this in terms of? Uh, interest in the product. Yeah, I mean, we, we, it seems to be that um, uh, that our chief competitors over the last year are not, not in that market anymore. Um, but uh, there are only ever two players because it is a, a, a licensed technology. And, uh, and so this is, this is patent protected. And so are many of the applications of this as well, for instance, in the blood um, plasma fractionation industry. Uh, and so there's only really up, it seems to be there's only upfront available now that you can uh, get this, this um, technology from. And uh, in many ways, um, I mean, obviously that's an advantage to us, but it's an advantage to the people who, who are getting this technology as well. Uh, it, it has key innovation areas, the density of the beads, the structure of these disposable columns as well. Uh, and it's just hopefully the perfect timing for the right industry, which is disposable, highly flexible manufacturing operations. And can you just give us a very quick tour of the console here in terms of sure. what, what uh, monitoring you can do, what uh, yeah, this is actually very simple. It's really simple because this is just uh, peristaltic pumps and some uh, some monitoring systems, UV, pH, conductivity, really simple. Um, people, people may have this in their own labs. This is just packaged in such a way to make it very easy to be able to take this column and once you've finished using it, you just take the column off and also all the tubing, which are all disposable, and throw everything away and then you can get straight straight on with uh, processing another bioreactor, say a different product if you're a contract manufacturer, um, without doing any cleaning in place. There's no opportunity for cross-contamination of products. So it's really extremely flexible system. And that's why we call it a robust flex system. Um, as, as well as operating two centimeter diameter columns, so say for process development, this is a, a pilot plant column, uh, but this can extend up to a 60 centimeter column diameter as well, which can be 150 liters. So it goes from laboratory really to production effectively. Rob Noel of Upfront Chromatography. Thanks very much. Thank you.